Um, we had a little bit of rain, but it, the cool thing is that it made everything really, really green. So as we're going through the Valley de Guadalupe, all the hillsides are green, there's wineries all over the place. It was just a gorgeous ride. Here's some of our views from the road. In the top, you see those little black boxes on the top of the hill. They look like a bunch of outhouses. They're actually little tiny hotel rooms that people rent for like $1,000 a night or something. There's a lot of wineries. There's about uh, 90 or 100 wineries in the Guadalupe Valley. And um, a lot of them charge a lot of money, but they bring people from Tijuana and all these places. And it's a, like a touristy thing to go to do the wineries in Guadalupe. And I guess they rent these things, especially in, a, I don't know. They, they look like little tiny outhouses. <laughs> As we were driving down the highway, this guy and his dog went right across the front of our RV. And I didn't get a picture of him in the front, but I got the back. But the dog was just riding on the back of the horse, bouncing on the horse. It's really kind of funny. And uh, there you see part of the hillside with some of our rabies going down the highway. But then we get to the zoo and we're met by our parking team. Um, our first dog again. Our first stop was at the Guadalupe, Valley de Guadalupe Zoo, but it's called the Zoological Park del Nino, Jersey. And I'm from New Jersey five years ago. <laughs> so I thought, Jersey, how do you get named Jersey? It's because they, it's a milk company whose family runs the zoo, and they own this milk company, and they started with Jersey cows, and they named their milk company Jersey, but really now they have Holsteins, but they like the name Jersey. <laughs> Anyway, so we went to the zoo. And if we get to the zoo area, they're parking everybody by the usage of your generator. So they have some people that had solar, and some that had a lot of solar generator use, and some that had a moderate generator use. So you try to park everybody by that. So like the people who run your generator all the time are next to the solar guys make them crazy. And I think that's why we all got along. <laughs> Our very first activity, the first night we pulled into the zoo parking, was to go to the Mount Zanuck Winery. And um, this is some the, the the vineyards that you're looking at have been there for about 70 years. So initially put in by some Russian immigrants. Um, the actual winery that they have rebuilt has not been in that long. I think they said, like around 1990 or something. I can't even remember when they put it in, but it was not as old as the wines, the grapes themselves. Inside, we had a tour of the whole winery. And uh, down here, you see these little tables. That's where we had our tasting. They gave us five different kinds of wine to try, um, and a plate of cheese, and um, crackers. And anyway, there's this big steel vat so they could keep the wine in. And then they bottle wine, too. They have um, 60 per minute, two hours per day, five days a week and we're watching it, and it's really fast, and I had a little video that I took, but as I'm walking down like this, and I turn, and I turn my camera, the whole thing about makes me sick from dizzy, so I don't want to do that to you guys, so I just have the one picture here. And in case you um, are geeky and want to know the math, it comes out to 7,200 7, bottles per day, or 36,000 per week that they bottle up there. And when they're not bottling the wine for that two hours per day, the girl says they're making wine. <laughs> They have a lot of storage too. It's on the side of a health side, so it's all granite and very cold, and people down there are working with their coats on. But um, yeah, there's a lot of wine there. I think our group could have stayed there a long time. 